All right, let's see if this works this time again with the trunk. We're gonna start the interior. Here's my little handy dandy notepad for my notes because my, uh, my brain can't remember everything. It's not so great these days now that I'm a little older, to be honest. So let's look at the kick trunk opener thingy and see if that works, okay? So I'm gonna kick down here. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe I gotta go move over a little bit by the license plate. Nope, see, I'm telling you. I had to push the button. All right, so here's the inside of the trunk and or the hatch or whatever you wanna call it. And the only 12 volt power in this entire car, it's kind of disappointing, is right here in the trunk. Okay, kind of disappointing, not a big fan of that. I am a fan of being able to lower your trunk and you have the option to lower it and lock it at the same time. So that's kind of nice that you know you don't have to go bring your key out or whatever. If you're carrying groceries, you just tap that button, it closes and it, and it locks. The organization in here is really nice. We'll go over this a little more in detail, but uh, I can pull, I'm gonna pull this out. This is my little Bluetooth speaker for when I go to the beach and stuff and I'm chilling or if I'm on the causeway. And ooh, hopefully I'm not breaking that shit. But I'm on the causeway. Uh, you do have like little hooks here to hold your grocery bags and to kind of keep things from flying all over the place. This is actually a wine bottle holder, believe it or not. That's for holding your bottles of wine. <laughs> so I use it to hold my detail spray. But this folds right down. And you can see I got a couple jackets in here, sun visor and stuff like that. And then you got another little cubby hole here with a net. Um, underneath you have a nice big uh, storage area my charging cables are in here but I recently moved them to the front so you get a nice big charging area I got a nice little tire inflator in there that works off the 12 volt and a beach towel a whoobie you know, in case you get cold it does have a pass through a couple tethers all around the trunk and um, I think that's about it for the trunk there's another tie down right there silver one Let's see, if, let's check my notes, see if there's anything else here. Seats do fold down. I fold them from the inside because this, this thing's in the way. And uh, this privacy blind does come out. So in case you want to throw a dog back here or something, you know, a small dog, <laughs> the privacy, privacy blind does come out. And, uh, okay, speaking of the interior, I'm going to include the frunk in this because it's technically the inside of the car. <laughs> but I want to show you how small this is it's very disappointing and you got to do it just like you open a regular deal here but yeah that's that's about the size of it right there you know underneath here is simply um i'm not going to pull it out right now but underneath there is simply just to fix a flat kit and that's about it you know you got um your windshield washer fluid there and this is about all the room you have you can't even throw a backpack in here and this is here to prevent you from storing your babies up front just just so you know just so you know you're not supposed to do that so that's an american that's an american thing uh, in europe they don't have that because europeans are a little smarter than americans apparently <laughs> all right we're gonna get into the cabin next 